Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to paint a watercolor mountain landscape step by step. I tried to keep the steps as simple as I could. This painting may look hard if you look at it like overall because there's a lot of details, but it's actually just like a combination of various techniques that I will explain to you guys, such as how to paint the mist, the forest, and the reflections. Before I begin, I want to talk to you guys about a really interesting website called Skillshare. What is Skillshare? It's an online learning platform where you can find many different kinds of classes. You can find classes on photography, business, Photoshop, and even watercolors. The watercolor classes on Skillshare are perfect for people that want to learn about painting in details and in an easy way. Every watercolor class in Skillshare has steps and techniques broken down in little lessons. This can really help you absorb and understand the material. After each class, there is a project for you to try out based on what you learned in the class. The best part is that you can get to explore all of these classes for free. You can use the link in my description to get two free months of Skillshare. I highly recommend you to simply try this website out, especially if you want to learn more on watercolor painting. I really like this whole platform, so soon I'll be launching my first class too. Start off by adding some water halfway on the paper. I'm going to add some yellow strokes too. I'm adding some magenta as well. My colors look light and more transparent because I have more water loaded in my brush than paint. Now I will take cyan and magenta to get a purple shade. Using this shade, I'm going to paint the mountain's reflection. Now I'll mix a darker purple shade, I'm mixing magenta and ultramarine, I will use very less water, that way my color will be intense. Take a clean, lightly damp square brush and make lines to pick up some water. After every line you make, clean your brush and then repeat. I'll paint the sky gradient, some purple, blue, and yellow clouds. After that, I'll paint the mist, then the mountains. Here, I'm taking some peachy shade again. Now I also mixed in some orange because we kind of want to go from like that peachy tone to orange to yellow. Because the sun is sort of like on the top left side. Take yellow and make strokes on the left, then make strokes a little bit where the peachy shade begins, just to connect the colors. Use magenta and paint the rest of the sky. Now add some purple on the top. 
Take some intense purple, like less water and more paint, and make sort of cloudy shapes. Don't worry too much about getting the right shape. Try to follow what I'm doing, and even if it doesn't really look the same, don't worry because all of this is just gonna become more blurry. Take magenta and repeat this step. I'm just sort of making wiggles with a light hand and lifting the brush a little bit as I paint. If you ever feel like you made too much clouds and now it's becoming a big blob with no shape, don't worry. Take some paper and lift some paint. It can also give a nice highlight to your clouds. I recommend you to use paper towel. Now it's time to make the mist in front of the mountains. Take purple and make a line like you would for a mountain until you reach the yellow sky part. Stop there. Clean your brush and then run it under the purple line. Make the tip of your brush touch the purple part and you'll see the purple blend into the water which will form the mist. Make some circular motions as you drag the purple down. To add the snow texture, start with making strokes with a very dry brush. Mix more water in your purple and paint downwards. I'm going to take white watercolor and make some strokes on top of the mountains for snow. You don't really have to do this, but this is like an extra step to make your mountains look more realistic. Now I'm going to paint the second layer of the water reflection. Here's what we have to do for the second layer. On the purple areas, we have to make purple strokes. On the yellow areas, we have to make yellow or orange strokes. And on the pink areas, we sort of have to make mainly pink strokes. Try using different shades of purple on the reflection. Now these vertical lines that I am painting represent the forest reflection.
After making these strokes, I took a very lightly damp big square brush and I like light, lightly ran it over where I painted the forest strokes. This kind of blurred the lines and made them look smoother. Now it's time to paint the trees. You can use a thin brush or a big one that has a very fine tip. Simply make a line, then on the sides of the line, add some dot-like shapes. As you go down, make more and let them spread, each wider than the ones on top. Once you've painted the forest, make vertical strokes downwards for the reflection. For a realistic effect, make some of the lines as long as the trees are. Add your birds and then take off your tape once the painting is dried. And we're done. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any questions about this painting or about art in general, feel free to ask me. Use hashtag lookaisha on Instagram if you want me to see your paintings. And don't forget to comment below what you guys want to see next.